you know, it's a very challenging project to build in the middle of the city of New York. It is really the only place that's really left here in Manhattan. Stephen Ross is one of a handful of major developers trying to figure out how to squeeze more real estate into a city with no space. We're flying the escalator in overhead. In the escalator? Oh my God. So we can't go underneath it? No. So how do we get in the building? His current project is Hudson Yards, a 28-acre live, work, and play development being built over a rail yard. Price tag, $25 billion. And right now, it's the largest and most expensive development project in America. To do a job on the scale, there's a lot of reasons to wake up in the middle of the night to wonder if this is being handled or that, you know, and, and then making sure it's a commercial success. There's obviously a lot of people betting on us. Ross is the head of Related Companies, best known for the Time Warner Center. A billionaire 12 times over, and side note, he also owns the Miami Dolphins. You know, this I think will probably be become the, really the new heart of New York. Luxury listings in the luxury market has taken a dip in the past year or so. It's down 20%, and most of your residences will be luxury rentals. Does that concern you at all? It, it gives us concern. Certainly, we might not get at the higher levels of, of dollars per square foot in sales that we might otherwise get if the market stays soft. Related says half of the commercial space already has tenants. So far, Coach L'Oreal and CNN's parent company, Time Warner, are set to move in. This is the coach lobby, I'm going to show you. But the other half might take some time. Just 30 blocks south, One World Trade is only two-thirds full, and it's been open for 16 months. Is China's slowing economy affecting the real estate market here at all? Obviously, if you base on a project being sold to the Chinese, it obviously is. But I think that Hudson Yards here, we really designed it and appealing to a really the local New Yorkers. I think when they come here, they see what we have. You know, it's a place where they're going to want to be. Ross has bet big and lost before. He started his career in affordable housing. And in the early 1990s, the bad economy almost put him out of business, a struggle he shared with friend Donald Trump. Have you spoken to him since he's announced his candidacy? Yes. What, what did you talk about? We talked about, I mean, you know, what Donald likes to talk about is, you know, I mean, uh, Donald. But both moguls have their eyes set on prizes outside of the real estate arena. It's easier to create a great real estate project than it is to create a winning uh, Super Bowl team. Really? Yeah. I'll give it all up for one Super Bowl or two, maybe two. 